Okay, so welcome to Math Storia and let's have this topic. Solving rational algebraic equations. Then we have this given. So if we want to find the domain, so take note that if the denominator is equal to zero, then this equation becomes undefined. So if we have 3x plus 4, then over zero, this one is undefined. So from this given, if x equals 0, so this equation becomes undefined. So the domain, we have from negative infinity to 0, then union uh, 0 to positive infinity because 0 is not part of the domain. Then to solve now for this uh, equation, so we need to simplify this one first. So using cross multiplication, so we have 1 times 6, so 1 times 6, then minus x times x, so x times x, then over this x times 6, so x times 6, then equals this 2 over 3. Then simplify. So this 1 times 6 is 6. Then negative x times x. This one is negative x squared. Then over x times 6. This one is 6x. Then equals 2 over 3. Then apply cross multiplication. So we have this 3 times 6 minus x squared. So 3 times 6 minus x squared, then equals this 2 times 6x, so 2 times 6x, then simplify, so 3 times 6, this one is 18, 3 times negative x squared, so negative 3x squared, then equals, so 2 times 6x, this one is 12x. Then we need to equate this equation to 0 and arrange. So starts with the highest exponent. So we have this negative 3x squared. Then we need to transpose. So this becomes negative 12x. Then positive 18. Then equals 0. Then since the first term is negative, so we need to multiply the whole equation by negative 1. So this negative 3x squared becomes positive 3x squared. This negative 12 becomes positive 12x. And this positive 18 becomes negative 18, then equals 0. Then observe the numerical coefficients. So we have this 3, 12, and 18. So all divisible by 3. So we need to reduce. So we have 3 divided by 3, that's 1, or 1 x squared. Then plus this 12 divided by 3, that's 4, so 4x. Four then minus this 18 divided by 3, that's 6, so we have minus 6, then equals 0. Then to solve for this quadratic equation, so we're going to use the quadratic formula. So for a, so a is 1. Then for b, so b is positive 4. And for c, c is negative 6. Then using the quadratic formula, since the variable is x, so we have this negative b, then plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Then substitute now the values. So we have x equals negative b and b is 4. So we have this negative 4 then plus minus square root of b squared. So we have this 4 squared then minus 4 times a a is 1 times c, so c is negative 6. Then over 
2 times a, so 2 times 1. Then simplify, so we have this negative 4 plus minus, then square root of this 4 squared, this one is 16. Then this negative 4 times 1 times negative 6. So we have negative 4 times 1 times negative 6 equals, that's positive 24. So plus 24, then over this 2 times 1, that's 2. Then we have now this negative 4 plus minus square root of 16 plus 24, this one is 40, then over 2. Then to find the values for x, so we have x equals to so this negative 4, then plus square root of 40, then over 2. And the other one, x equals negative 4, then this minus square root of 40, then over 2. Then to simplify, so we have this negative 4, then plus this square root of 40, so square root of 40 equals that 6.32. So we have 6.32, then over 2. Then the other one, so negative 4 minus 6.32, then over 2. So therefore, x is equal to, so we have this negative 4, then plus this 6.32 equals, then divide by 2, so divide by 2, so x is equal to, 1.16 so x is 1.16 then the other one so x equals so this negative 4 then minus this 6.32 equals then divide by 2 Equal, so that's negative 5.16. So x equals negative 5.16. So this is now the solution of this rational algebraic equation. Then for this given, so to find the domain. So on this case, so if x is equal to positive 3, so positive 3 minus 3, so this uh, denominator becomes 0. So therefore, this equation becomes undefined if x is equal to positive 3. So therefore, the domain, so from negative infinity to positive 3, then union positive 3 to positive infinity. Because this positive 3 is not part of the domain. Then to solve now for this rational algebraic equation, so we need to simplify this one first. So using cross multiplication, so this 2 times 2, so 2 times 2, then plus this x times x minus 3, so x times x minus 3. Then over this x minus 3 times 2 or 2 times x minus 3 then equals negative 1 over 2. Then simplify. So this one is 4. Then plus this one is x squared. Then x times negative 3. That's negative 3x. Three then over 2 times x. This one is 2x. And 2 times negative 3, that's negative 6, then equals negative 1 over 2. Then apply cross multiplication. So we have this 2 times 4 plus x squared minus 3x. So 2 times 4 plus x squared minus 3x, then equals this negative 1 
times 2x, then minus 6. Then simplify, so 2 times 4, this one is 8. 2 times x squared, this one is positive 2x squared. And 2 times negative 3, this one is negative 6. Then equals, so negative 1 times 2x, this one is negative 2x. And negative times negative, that's positive 6. Then we need to equate this equation to 0 and arrange, so starts with the highest exponents. So we have this 2x squared, then this negative 6x plus 8, then we need to transpose. So this becomes positive 2x, this one transpose, so this becomes negative 6, then equals 0. Then combine like terms, so we have 2x squared, then this negative 6x and positive 2x. So this one is negative 4x because 6 is greater than 2. Then this positive 8 minus 6, so 8 minus 6, that's positive 2, then equals 0. Then observe the numerical coefficient, so that's 2. 4 and 2, so all divisible by 2. So this 2 divided by 2, that's 1, so we have this 1x squared. Then minus 4 divided by 2, this one is 2, so we have 2x. Then plus 2 divided by 2, that's 1, then equals 0. Then from this quadratic equation, since we can solve this one using a factoring, so to factor out this quadratic equation, so first, factors of x squared, that's x times x, and factors of 1, that's 1 times 1. Then since the middle term is negative, so therefore, all negative. Then to solve for x, so equate this to 0, so we have x minus 1 equals 0, so therefore x is equal to positive 1. So just transpose this negative 1 and also for the other factors, so x minus 1 equals 0, so x is equal to positive 1. So therefore, the solution of this rational algebraic equation is x equals positive 1.